Okay, so I have a video here showing you how to replace the audio in Fallout 4 with whatever you want to replace it with. This includes radio songs, uh, sounds, and music. Pretty much anything from the sound and music folder. Now this is my third time recording this video. Unfortunately, the first two times I sort of messed up and sort of didn't. I won't get into it. But let me just get down to it. Now, for this, you will need Bethesda Archive Extractor. I'll link it in the description. And optionally, you'll need Multi XWM, which will convert audio files to the XWM format that most Bethesda games use. Now, technically, we can replace the uh, sounds and music with files in the WAV format, but XWM is a much smaller format and WAVE is uncompressed so the file size is very large and typically I've noticed Bethesda games work a little better with XWM so um, keep that in mind instead of converting them to XWM you can just replace them with WAVEs but for this video I will be using multi XWM and this is just the song I'm using so when you download these you can just extract them wherever you like I'm going to extract them now Now it is good when doing this to have a tool like 7-Zip or WinRAR, but I figure almost everybody's going to have that on their computer anyway. But yeah, definitely if you don't have it, go ahead and pick up some sort of extraction utility. And once you have those downloaded and extracted, we are going to want to change a couple settings or one line in our Fallout4.ini. So that is located in your documents, My Games, Fallout4 then open up fallout4.ini and scroll down and you see this line here it says resource data directory final yada yada it's going to by default just have strings there now what this line does is it tells the game to look for assets in loose files and folders in addition to looking for them in the archives because we're replacing music and sound, we're going to want to have these two here, music and sound. Optionally, you can go ahead and add the line just like I have it. I'll put it in the description. It's actually good to have it like this because if you plan on adding any mods or plan on replacing anything in the game with something of your own, it'll be a good thing just to go ahead and have this line in your Fallout4.ini for any sort of future tinkering or modding. So once you've done that, like I said, you don't need this whole line, you just need music and sound now in addition to strings, which is default. You can go ahead and save it. I'm going to hit Control S. You go File Save if you like and exit out. Now um, another helpful tip when modding Fallout 4, which does not pertain to this video, but I'll just go over it quickly, is in your Fallout 4 prefs.ini and you scroll down and you see here in launcher you want to add the line B enable file selection and you want to have that equal one that's just a note not necessary for this video though and we're done here so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of my Fallout 4 my games folder okay so obviously when you're replacing music or sound in Fallout 4 you're gonna to need to know what to name the files and in which folders those files go. So to help us figure that out, we're going to go ahead and extract the sound archive using Bethesda Archive Extractor. So once you've done that, just open up bae.exe, click File, Open File, go to your Fallout 4 game folder, or your data folder rather, which is in, by default, your drive letter, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4, data and you see it says fallout4-sounds.ba2 click open make sure both of these are checked and then click extract it's going to ask you where you want to save this I'm going to save it to my desktop so I'm going to create a new folder call it ba2 sounds and then click select folder and it's going to go ahead and extract the contents of the sounds archive. Okay, when that's done, you can just exit out. And I'm going to exit out of the archive extractor folder too. And here is the folder I made when I extracted the sounds archive. So I'm going to open this up.
And like I said, the reason we're doing this is to find out what to name the files and in which folders they belong. So for example, let's say I want to replace the main theme. I would really have no idea what to name that file and which folder it belongs in. Unless I poked around in here and I said it's music, so I'll go to music. Maybe it's in special, and here I have it, mus underscore main theme. So that's the exact reason we did this. Otherwise, we wouldn't really know what to name the file and where to place it. So with that in mind, I'm going to drag this over here. And now, let me minimize this. Now I'm going to convert, for the purposes of this video, the CCR song to an XWM format. So I open up multi-XWM, then click multi-XWM.exe, click add file on the top right, and let me go to my desktop. Oh, add this. There we go. And here we go. So make sure the type is audio to XWM. Just a useful note, you can also convert XWM files to WAV if you need to. Make sure the bitrate is default. I do not believe it technically has to be. I just leave it as default. And just click start. And it'll say job one finished when it's done. And you can exit out. And the file will be in the output folder. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Now I'm going to go over the two ways that you're most likely going to be replacing these. That is manually and with a mod manager. First I'm going to show you how to manually do it. So what I like to do is, after copying that, open up the Fallout 4 game folder, which I believe I have right here. And then I go to data. Let me snap this to the side here and open up this. And I basically copy the way the archive is laid out in the data folder. So I have the music folder here, then special. So in the data folder, I will make a new folder and call that music. Then make a new folder again, call that special. And I will paste the CCR song. And now I'm replacing the main theme, so I'm going to want to use the name MUS underscore main theme. So MUS underscore main theme. And when you're replacing some of the Diamond City radio songs, they have extremely long file names and you may type the whole thing out and then realize you typed it incorrectly once you get into the game it won't be playing so a good thing to do is just copy the file you just renamed I'm going to use control C go to the folder that has the contents of the archive and paste it and hopefully it says that the file already exists so that way you know you named it correctly I'm going to click skip this file and that is if you want to replace the file manually if you're going to use a mod manager such as Nexus mod manager you want to do it a little differently. So let me go ahead and delete this music folder. And let me go over, minimize these two. And I'm going to go ahead and find my CCR song I converted. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this song. And I'm going to make a new folder, make it wherever you like. It's just temporary. I'm going to call it CCR. And open that folder. And now we're going to be doing the same thing. So basically what we're doing here is we're archiving this for a mod manager to unpack and add to the game. So I'm going to click my special folder here. This is the folder where I extracted the contents of the archive. And again, I'm going to make sure that I copy the way the archive is laid out. So new folder, music, then another new folder, call that special and paste the CCR song, rename it. I use F2, it's a much easier thing to do. I prefer the keyboard generally. And rename this. And I'm gonna go back out to the CCR folder. Right click music, and depending on which archive utility you use, I have WinRAR, so I'm gonna click add to archive. And I'm gonna name it um, CCR re music replacer and it created this archive here. So once you have that, open up your mod manager and go ahead and add the mod. So where did I put this? It was on my desktop. CCR and double click that. Of 
course, don't forget to activate it. And there you go. And you're pretty much done. I just want to quickly show you where the radio songs are for Diamond City and the other radio stations because that may be something you really want to replace. So you go to the sound, then FX, then MUS for music, then go to radio. Then here you have the names of the radio stations. Silver Shroud, I believe, are just shows. So I don't know why you'd really want to replace those. But here you have Diamond City. And as you can see, like I was saying, the file names are very long, which is why you're going to want to make sure you name them accurately. And again, you can use XWM or WAV format files. Although, I prefer to use XWM, as you can see the size is quite small, Wave is uncompressed, therefore the file size is very large, and the game is actually designed to work with XWM files, and I find that they work a little bit better. For instance, when I go ahead and replace the main theme with a WAV format file, I have to load up the game, and then I notice that it's actually not playing. It's playing the default main theme. So what I have to do is exit out of the game, then boot it up again, which I'm not really sure why. Yeah, so like I said, I find the game works a lot better with XWM format files, and they're smaller. And if you're making a mod to upload, you're definitely going to want to use them. It's going to... Nobody's really going to want to take, like, half a gig worth of music files and unpack it. The mod manager takes a little time to do that as well. So, yeah. Hope this helped, and thanks for watching.